We are having a cross-community automation build-off. The focus is going to be on some Group A-inspired homologation specials, ready to rip up the tarmac. If you don't know, Group A was a formula for taking pedestrian-based vehicles, touring car, and rally racing in the 80s and 90s. They weren't the fire-breathing death machines of Group B, but they did pave the way for a massive group of cult-favorite tuner cars we all lust for today. I'll be taking your best car up against Automotive Flux. If you don't know Automotive Flux, he does great videos building cars in automation and testing their performance in BeamNG, normally operating under extreme conditions with sometimes hilariously disastrous results. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's messy. Oh my goodness, it's real messy. <laughs> He's got a sizable community of car building viewers that I'm sure are chomping at the bit for a chance to build a car for him to face off with me. And if you don't know who I am, I'm Cone Dodger, dabbler in automation car building for the last decade, but I love nothing more than driving my community's awesome and often terrible contraptions. Sometimes we take things pretty seriously and build as close to real life race cars as possible, and sometimes we don't. Pope does wheelies, by the way. <laughs> oh no, Pope! Oh no! So get ready to get building. You'll have just a few short weeks to get your creations in to the team you want to support. There will be no prize for making the winning car, but just for building a car and entering it, you'll be in the pool for a couple of automation t-shirts picked at random. If you want to enter, here's all the build details you need to know. For the car regulation, it will be a Group A inspired vehicle of the years 1982 to 1992. It will be a four plus seat passenger car, meaning it has a minimum of four seats. The chassis must be a monocoque construction and has a minimum weight of 1,230 kilograms. The tires will be at a 255 millimeter max width and be radial race pavement tires. This means you could use soft, medium, or hard. Your car must be homologated. That means you have to sell at least 1,000 units at any price in any one category. As for the drivetrain regulations, if you want to have forced induction, you will have a 2,000 cc max capacity. If you're going to go naturally aspirated, you have a 3,000 cc max capacity. Your engine can be of any configuration, V inline boxer, 3 through 16. Forced induction entries will be limited to 10 PSI of boost. Your fuel will be unleaded of whichever octane you choose. Your cars can be two-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, but no 4x4. And your entries should be a manual H-pattern transmission. All of these cars must be built in the default sandbox factory, so no using your campaign factory. All entries will be scrutineered by the opposing team's judge. One entry from both communities will face off in a head-to-head -head Beam NG competition. Your entries are due by May the 4th. If you have any questions about these rules, please comment on this video below and we will work that out together. Please limit to only one entry per builder and only enter in one team. This competition is all about fun, so just be creative and have a good time with it. This is a really fun era of car, and I'm really looking forward to driving all of your creations. As with any build competition, there are sure to be many questions and clarifications on the rules of the build-off, so we will be withholding any entries for 24 hours as we iron out those details. After 24 hours, the Google Drive link in the description will become available, and in that will be the finalized rule sheet that you need to follow. So if you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please feel free to share. Look forward to seeing what you come up with, and have fun.